singing together. Oh, I want to see him. And so we'll have that song sang now. And then you'll see the rest of the Isaac.
should I feel discouraged? And why do the shadows come? Why? Does my heart feel lonely and long for heaven and home? My portion and a constant friend is he for his eyes is on the sparrow and I know He watches over me, and I see because I'm happy. Sister Lucretia Thornton. The day when Sybil was in the hospital, we went to go see her. Um, Pam was at her side and prayed with her from the time she got there until the time we left that night. And Sybil would just say, tell such and such I love them. Tell, tell Skinny I love her. Tell Loretta I love her. Tell all these people that I love her. And, 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 and just let people know that I'm okay. And she was saying stuff like, um, Jesus, you don't call out on a person that you don't know. Right. Jesus knew Sybil. I mean, right. and, G and Sybil knew Jesus. And so when she cried out, she was crying out to someone she knew. So we have comfort in that. If you don't know Jesus, if you're carnal-minded, you won't understand what we're talking about. Right. It'll just go right over your head. But if you know him and he knows you, you can be comforted in that fact that Sybil was surrounded by God and, her, and his angels. And that weekend when we went out to go get the suits for the boys, we saw God at every turn. Yep. We saw a, guy, a man that yep. gave Greg money to pay for the suits yes. and said, I'm not going to tell you my name. My right. name is Mr. Angel. Right. And so that's what we saw. We just saw God. Exactly. You know, and when I say Sybil, we say Greg. And, and, and that's how we've known them since junior high, Greg. We've just since junior high. Greg was, you know, trying to court Sybil, but Mr. Pink wasn't having it. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, we go way back. You know, Doug said he, he, don't, he ain't going to tell you how many years. I know me and Greg go back at least 50 years, 55 years. And, and, um, and so... Sybil and, and, and I go back almost as far. We grew up on the same block for a while. But, but I just want to say that, you know, we love Sybil. We're going to miss Sybil. But one thing about this is that Sybil's in a better place. She has no pain. She's at peace. 
because that night she didn't even want to endure, endure the pain for that night. So God yeah. knew her heart. Yeah. And with that, he said, come on, come on home, daughter. I'm going to bring you home to a better place. And so I just, that, that's all I have to say. I, I thank God for knowing Sybil, for her being in our lives. Yeah. And um, it won't be the same, but we'll all have to move on. And um, I'm going to be with my brother Greg and help him transition through this. And this is the best friend I have in the world. Um, Sybil, she was family because she was my mom's best friend. And um, my mom is her uh, kid's god godparent and all that. Uh, but uh, I just remember Sybil uh, going to Ted Green with Greg. Greg taught me how to play softball. I mean, not softball, baseball. And uh, just being around him was, was always fun, you know what I mean? We go to practice, we come back home, we go to get the 35 cent cheeseburgers, you know what I mean? And then uh, when they moved to the house where they're at now, they had a swimming pool, so we used to have those swimming parties and all that. And then uh, me growing up, I mean, I lost distance from him for a while, but uh, Greg would call me to go umpire with him help him out and everything, and then uh, she was a good person. She used to always give me a hard time, but it was, it, it was always good. And uh, uh, I don't know what else to say. She, uh, <laughs> All right, thank you, guys. First, I'd like to give honor to God, to Sybil especially, to the family, Greg and Odessa and all the children and grandchildren, family and friends. My name is Jackie. I'm a Daniels, and I come with my open heart because when I was a little girl, my grandpa lived on Hamilton, and I had that opportunity to spend a lot of years over in the South Side. Um, I niece Jones and her family, um, I'm so I'm not excited, but I know where Sybil is going because I plan to go there too someday. Mm. And I do know for her to put up with me, she had to be a Christ. <laughs> Christ was in her because, boy, I could be a doozy. And people say, oh, you talk so much. I say, honey, ain't nothing God got a secret about. But I did learn this. To be absent from that body is to be present with the Lord. And I want everyone to know I thank you. And I know she's sharing her love because look at all the people that's here. But I do want to say this to everyone. It's time for us to start gathering and being together as a one in the name of Jesus because it's so hard out here now. And Sybil, I'm going to miss her because she was a true friend, a wife, a, a mother, a grandmother. It's just, you just, I don't know what else to say, but God got her. And I want to acknowledge the pastor and the pastor of the church and all the dignitaries that are here. Um, let's stay, we're going to miss Sybil, that's for sure. God bless everyone. Amen. Amen. I am a family friend from the age of 10 years old. Uh, Sybil was the, the youngest sibling, but she was the oldest aunt. Well, for us, she was our age, but she was older, so she was always in control. <laughs> well, I, 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 I envied Greg, but I pitied him too. Because she always had it together. I, I came by last night, I rubbed her hand, and I kept waiting for her to say, boy, get your hand off me. I love you, family. Uh, Sybil is that's my auntie. Um, I love you guys, man. Thank you. Hi, I'm V. Mitchell, and I'm here on behalf of Eugene Mitchell, my husband, and myself. I'd like to pay my respects and give my condolences to the Miss Sybil. I didn't really get to meet her except for one time, but I met her daughter, Odessa. Odessa became my neighbor. And what a wonderful woman Odessa is. Intelligent, caring, 
and godlike. So I know these qualities that Odessa possessed were part of her mom's. So to love Odessa, I know that her mom is just so much of what she is in, as a woman. Sybil, whatever Sybil said is what went. Was said. So we had to go with the Sybil said. But um, I spoke about Sybil earlier. Greg, you don't say Sybil without Greg. You don't say Greg without Sybil. Um, so we just want to let Greg know we love you, bro. Um, we love the family. And we're going to always be here for you. God bless. Hey, this goes out to the family. You know, this is Deborah. I love all you guys and your mother. Don't think of it as nothing bad. It's a homecoming. She went home to the higher power. She was called, and we all love her. We all miss her. And you know what I'm saying? I just want to say I'll be there for you guys. You know, just call and let me know because we all family. We love each other. I'm Brother Mays from the Muscogee Church of Christ. Uh, to the Downing family, the Peak family, the Chapel family. Family. On behalf of the congregation there, we extend our deepest sympathy and our condolences. We realize the Bible says that uh, there's sadness uh, at night, but joy cometh in the morning. And so I pray to God that he, you, he will look down upon you and give you strength in this hour uh, that tomorrow the sun might shine even brighter.